Mike Ballot on the Vodka Red Bull. Can't fault it. Uh, where are we? Right, how are we doing? Drum roll, Connor on the Goose Island Lolly Paul Greenwood, uh, Tommy Gabriel has joined the membership whilst I was uh, setting up. Thank you very much, Tommy Gabriel. That is a £1.99 a month uh, membership. Really appreciate it. And Jonathan Davis is on the Francis Kana. Right, okay. Uh, I am on a, a bottle of ABK Vice Beer. Boosh, there we go. I really like this Vice Beer. It's, some of you might recognize the ABK pump. This is their, their Vice Beer. Uh, Ryan Ford, hello, how are you? Bottle cap. Um, so if we can hit the like button down below, let's get this like, let's get this live stream liked and up and away. Tater Dawn, cheers everyone. Here we go then. Big Kev, there he is. Big Kev, how are you doing? Jonathan Davis, Budgie, Matt Taverner, Lewis Rumble, James Elms, Steve Jeffrey, Ryan Ford. Loads of you are in. Charlie Zobel, uh, Ryan Ford again. Yeah, here we go. Uh, my ABK Vice Beer glass is in the dishwasher. I was using it in a review just yesterday and I haven't put the dishwasher on. I've just put it on now, so um, it would have been nice to have an ABK beer with an ABK vi uh, vice beer glass, but there we go. Uh, Ryan McKenzie, oi oi, Savaloi, how's you, Sai? Perfect draft, start on the go, no work tomorrow, boom, boom. Uh, Big Kev, new beers and ads today, Scotland anyway, I'll have a look. I'll have to have a look on Monday or Tuesday. Hello, Tommy, how you doing, mate? Cheers, Simon. Cheers, everyone. Uh, evening all, Andreas F.A. D.B. U.K. Evening all. I got a can of your Stone Crow beer for my birthday. Just opened it. Very nice. Hey! Amazing. Jack Parry, evening, Simon. Uh, Michael says, hey, Simon. Uh, pure dead magic man. All right, Simon. How are we doing? Uh, Roy Bruling, Stone the Crows. Roy. There. Oh, hang on. Roy, there, there, look, there, Roy, look, look, it's done. I did it this morning. What a beer. What a beer. I look on um, some British websites and this bottle of delirium that I was just pointing at then. It's £40 a bottle. Four, oh, £40 a bottle. There they, there they are, hi, mate. How's the ABK? I'm just pouring it out now. I was just explaining to everybody that my ABK vice beer glass is going through the dishwasher as I speak. So, um, gonna have to make do with this one for now. <laughs> so, ABK are the official, like, not official. But they go to the, you know, the foodie festivals around the UK. There's one coming up in Brighton. There's one coming up in Cardiff, which I'm really excited for. Well, ABK are going to these festivals and providing beer. Um, to buy, of course. But, you know, vice beers, dunkles, that sort of thing. It's great. Really, really great. Uh, I let my pull on the vice beer glass. Sadly, I smashed the thing in the sink. Oh, I know. It's, it's, it's... I've, I've smashed so many vice beer glasses. The point is, they're long, they're narrow. They're heavy. Mine fall over in the dishwasher and break all the time. Or these big bad boys on the bottom, they break other things. They like fall. This broke a wine glass, fell over into a wine glass and smashed a wine glass. Right, let's get into this then. Fantastic. Fantastic beer. Salute. Um, that's how I'm drinking flat madry because I can't find a glass that gives the carbonation anymore. Used to use the cellar chalice. Rich Jesus, hi Simon, all the very best from Starbridge. I got a Loch Lomond Imperial Milk Stout from under £3 in Asda. Um, 
kind of fierce hot property double IPA on the go here in Edinburgh. Uh, Darren's on the alcohol-free Copperberg tonight. Looking forward to the weekend though. Cheers. Uh, ABK are in. John Wan Kenobi. Marco. Ryan McKenzie. Loads of you in. Uh, we got 30 likes. Can we do 60? Can we do 60 likes? Hit the like button down below for 60 likes. Come on, hit that like button down below for 60 likes. Um, I got, I'm, I'm going to a beer festival tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm going to my first beer festival of the year, 2024, tomorrow. And yeah, very excited. Very excited. Um, looking forward to... Looking forward to getting out and about more this year. Gonna gonna do didn't do much last year. A lot going on last year. Um but I'm gonna go to so many more festivals this year. I've made my mind up. Um not just festivals, but I'm gonna do my out and abouts. Uh, I wanna do Leeds, I wanna do Manchester, I wanna do York. I'll be do probably doing York tomorrow. Um I'm on the Hohan Hannah Calabria Hell. Hohan Hannah. I, I, I must be the worst, like, worst pronouncer of beers in the world. Um, what's Scott saying? Have you seen As the Got Some New? I've seen your um, Thornbridge meeting. I haven't read that. I've just read. You've done. i seen your thumbnail for the Thornbridge. You reckon it was cracking. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But next week, when I'm, I'm away now, so. Um, next week I will I will pop to Asda and I will pick up some of the beers there, Scott. So um, he's mentioned a couple of decent Thornbridge beer, big nineteen ounce um, Stone Brewing IPA classic plus others. It's nice really that Stone have made a bit of a comeback into the UK because uh, they they were quite big with Tesco for a while, weren't they? And they kind of like took a step back. And now they're having a go again. Uh, they they opened that big brewery, didn't they, in Germany? Never worked out. Brewdog bought it off them. Um, bit of a rivalry there. Uh, don't worry, I'll bring you a couple of new glasses. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. I I still got it. I just what I also thank you very much for the two pound super chat. Also, what I found uh, ABK is that some of the writings come off as well so mm. this this is delicious i've also not sure if you've noticed finally fitted the door so i finally fitted the door and oh, it was it was hitting, the beer pump was there. Can you see the, the hexagon? See the hexagon there and the, where, where it's not so dusty. It, I couldn't open the door past the beer pump, so uh, the beer pump had to go over. But being over further, I'm not standing in front of it now, so it only took me two minutes as well, moved it over. I should have done it years ago, or well, in the last year. So, uh, can we get to 60 likes? Simon's haggling for a new glass, ABK. <laughs> Absolutely. That's because of the dishwasher that it comes off. Roy Bruin. Yeah, I know. I just, everything goes in my dishwasher. I'm terrible. 46 likes. Come on, everybody. Let's do, let's, let's say 60 likes. Come on. We've got 14 more likes to go. Hit the like button down below. 14 more likes. Come on. There's a like button and a dislike button down in the corner. Come on. 10 more to go. Stephen Major with a five pound super chat. Thank you very much, Stephen. Um, this is brilliant. Um, do you know what was a little bit, um, and, and I, I chatted about this openly last week. We, we've had a much better week. We've had a much, much better week. Whether, whether chatting to you guys about it has improved things in regards to, like, maybe you guys are tuning in a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, we've had a much, much better week. Much, much better week. Monday, Monday was a slow day, and I was like, yeah, you know, it's funny because you always think, when you run your own business, you always think 
the, the sky is going to fall in any minute. There's always that nagging, like... <laughs> <on the, laughs> um, I used to love washing dishes years ago. We just used to, like, have a beer, wash it. Now it all goes in the dishwasher. But uh, when, you, when you run your own business, you're always on the, like, the... You're always a little bit sensitive as to, like... Like, is the sky going to fall in any minute? And, and you're always like, the, the moment this is, this is a, like a slight kind of downturn, it's always like, oh, and the way my brain works, I'm always, oh, like, this is the end type of thing. But it's been a, it's been a really good week. It's been a really positive week. Thanks for the stu super chat, Stephen. Really appreciate it. Five pounds super chat. Really appreciate it. Yeah, but it, it, it view, viewing wise, uh, the Samuel Smith lag has done well. The secret Guinness lager, that's done quite well. Um, yeah, much more of a positive, positive week. Much more of a, like, um, thinking. It's, it's very funny in business how you can do this. You can very, very quickly do this in business and just cower and, 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 and hide away from everything. Or you can jump on the front foot and you can, like, be positive about it. So next week now, um, I need to get myself some more beer in. Um, I need to get myself some more beer. So um, we got a lovely Polish shop, shop at Delicatessen in Cardiff. And I really want to go to this Delicatessen. I really want to buy some um, Polish beer. I think that's going to, I think they'll do quite well on the channel, some of these Polish beers. What do you think? Comment down below. Would you like to see some Polish lager in the next few weeks on the channel is that something that you would like to watch is that something that you'd be inter interested in runs with wind five pounds super chat thank you so very much for that really really appreciate it something i've never really asked is it like talking to you about my future plans like okay next week we're gonna go and get some polish lager is that something you would be interested in watching Uh, would you drink a pint of Bailey's to, uh, raining in Lincolnshire? Could do Poland, then another country, like each week is a different country. Oh, um, if, if Scott's still watching, Scott, can you please get to Lidl and pick up those Belgium little stumpy bottles? Not necessarily the, um, what are they called? The one with the little pixie on. Ah, he's still there. Um, there's a, there's a, there's beers up little, and it's like it's got like a, like a little pixie type cartoony character on it. That beer, Scott, is fantastic. I'd love to see that on your channel. The beer they sell it in a four pack. It might be seven, eight quid. It's about eight percent ABV. It's beautiful, beautiful beer. I'd like to see that on your channel. The other things are. There's some other ones up. Parat. Not the Parat. The Parat's oak. Okay. The Parat's pretty decent. It's the other ones. It's the, it's the slightly kind of like different ones that you need to buy. They're very, very good. Um, I seen them. I read. The, the, I'm a bit sad. I read the little magazine every week. See what's coming. I'm one of them. But on the app, I actually go into my app, my little app, and I read the magazine. <laughs> what's coming out? So you tried the Hoppy Blanche, the new Mur, and you loved it. I think you should try the original one. It's such a good summer beer. Once the Out and About video is kicked back in, I'm sure the views will skyrocket again. Looking forward to the beer festival stuff coming up. James Albums, yeah, that will be tomorrow. So um, first thing in the morning, train um, right up to York. I'll get there 2.30 in the afternoon. Arrive 2.30 in the afternoon. I've already, I'm taking a rucksack. Um, I'm taking a rucksack because then I, I don't want to rush to the hotel because I have to be at the beer festival for five o'clock and I would like, if I can, to get some of the filming done, some of the York filming I'd like to get done tomorrow afternoon before I go to the festival because I know what it's like, Saturday I'll pass like that. I won't film anything and I'll just be at a beer festival, like meeting people, drinking, having fun uh, and I won't film it. And I have to, I have to. So I'm going to get 
some of it done tomorrow and then I'm going to get some of it done Saturday. In between going to the wonderful Korean um, restaurant that, that um, is in the back street in York, which is just fabulous. Really big plate of Korean noodles. Maybe I should film that. That'd be great being half Polish. I would love to be educated more on Polish beers. Rich J. Well, I haven't been for a year. So I'm hoping they got all the Polish beers still in there. Henry Weston's, you like. York is awesome. Steve, Steve, my, it is a very, very nice place. Tony Two Shoes. Just come on YouTube and saw the virtual pub was on and was shocked as I forgot it was Thursday. I have no, no beer in the house. Tony Two Shoes. You need to run down your lawn disc now. Get down to your lawn disc and uh, get some beers in. Golden Drag, Bornham. No, they 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 like... Um, they're not those either. It's like tro Troik or something, T-R-O-E-K or something like that. Um, it's fabulous. Toppy, slightly sweet. It's just lovely, really lovely beer. Ah, picked up the pill and back of ice beer last week. Really like that. I do the same as you. Look at the little magazine and see what's coming. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Um, Castile, sorry, no, no, they're like, um, can somebody have a look at the little magazine? They're like, um, they're like, it's like got a little pixie thing on the front. Well, someone have a look at my videos because I have. Curvy does trolls, there we are, Paul Greenwood. Paul Greenwood, Curvy does trolls. That beer is blooming fantastic, it's really good. Thank you very much, Paul Greenwood. Just looked in the cupboard. Oh, it's a great beer. Paramatta, evening, Simon and everyone. I have Augustina Brogged Uncle. Uh, Kenny Ass says, cheers. Uh, just bought a car yesterday. Have you, Reese? What did you buy? <laughs> Try and get to the King's Head in York. Brass plates for the water level every year it floods. Only craft ales. Cash only and no phones. It's £1.85 a pint. Now then, Ryan McKenzie, that's my sort of pub. Lots of people talking about on the Samuel Smith's organic lager video today that I reviewed, saying that they don't agree with, like, the Samuel Smith's pubs, the policies. Do you know what? Ah, rate my beers in. How are you doing, rate my beer? Sorry for being slightly controversial here, but I eat tea with the family every day. And it's probably like this up and down the country, all over the world. You're eating your tea and everyone's, everyone's doing stuff on their phones. Everyone's listening to, watching TikToks and laughing and joking. I'm sitting there, I don't have my phone while I'm eating. I just do not touch my phone while I'm eating. I'm like, you can't have a conversation with everybody because everybody, your daughters, your wife, they're all looking at different things on the internet. And like, I get it. I get it. Definitely get it with a Sam Smith's pub in the fact that like, you go in there and everybody's looking at their phones. What's the point in that? Where's your real old craft beer sign? Tea man. Thank you very much for the two euro super chat. Um, put some wall units up instead. I will find somewhere for it. Oh! Uh, Pompey final, final power out of the league one this year. Seven years is that bloody... Oh, do you know... Um, I watched the Portsmouth Cardiff City FA Cup final. And after they won the FA Cup, they literally got rid of all of that squad, didn't they? They couldn't afford to pay them. And I was gutted after that because Cardiff made the FA Cup final, played Portsmouth in the final. Portsmouth beat them with a star-studded team. And then within a matter of weeks, that team disbanded. And they went down to League One, didn't they, eventually? And I was like, oh, you know, that 
I, I, this is just being a Cardiff City fan. I was like, oh, if that happened just a few weeks earlier, then we would have had a chance of beating you guys in the and what it, winning the FA Cup again. Got the cabinet door up. Yeah, I, may, I had to make that door. I had to make that door there. Uh, I, I had to buy a force a bit as well. Um, Jonathan, they block. Yeah, absolutely. Spam and ban. I often look around a family meal and the, the only folk on the phone are the elders. Change days. Um... So yeah, we got some news today. Um, Rape my beer. I've been. Um, we did a collaboration with Rape my beer, and Hackney Church Brew Co. And um, it was a called. The beer is called Agadoo. Remember the song? I've been singing it all afternoon. Oh, wow! It's the Incredible Hulk. Um, it's probably a small child. It's probably a small child, come on. Um, causing a bit of aggro. Right, well, we got 89 likes. Can we do 100 likes? Hit the like button down below. 100 likes. In the dance. Hit that like button down below for 100 likes. Ever tried any Cullock Brewery beers? I went to their tap room in Perth for the first time and everything was lovely. Recommended. Probably the last child. Um, no, I haven't. I'd like to, though. So, yeah. Um, new beer out. Hackney Church Brewery. If you want to try it, it's a pineapple Weizenbock. A pineapple Weizenbock. Um, it should be really interesting. Um, I'm going to be sent it next week. It will be on the channel soon. But if you guys want to kind of, like, have a look at it, it's Hackney Church Brewery, London, with Rate My Beer, and it's called Agadu. <laughs> Pineapple Weizenbach. We got 100 likes. <laughs> Connor, sounds pretty gross. <laughs> I'd like to do a collaboration with ABK. You don't, Germans, you don't tend to like collaborate much with German breweries. Oh, hang on, there's a small child again. Message, message you about yoga, yogurt, yoga, yogurt. I don't know. Eighty-six thousand seconds they've been banned for. Thank you very much for hiding these people. Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny how they, um, I don't know, perhaps we're, perhaps we're trending on the YouTube watch page. <laughs> perhaps people are like, oh, there's one to go in there. Uh, hello, Brian, it's been a long time. Brian Hintz is in, uh, greetings from Ohio. Going to grab myself a four pack of Bonnison's tomorrow, been a while. It has, Brian, it's been a while. How are you, my good friend? I wish I lived in the UK or wherever you are. Uh, oh, I wish I lived in America, to be honest. Isn't it funny how we all want different things in life? We're never happy, we're never content, are we? Part one, I was with my mate that night. Saturday, when he and his brother handed me a glass full of yellow lukewarm liquid. Drink it, he said, giggling. It was only when I saw... Oh, good God, Scott check. David Bud, Hi, mate, I enjoy your channel. I have tried most of the voice beer you have reviewed, and I like Paul on the most. Paul on is very good. Francis Khan is very good. You are trending on Arabic TV. Am I? Wow. Must be nothing to watch on Arabic TV. Um, oof. Scott Chang, yeah, that's terrible. Grass is always greener. Yeah, it probably isn't. 198 in. Hit the like, people. You know what it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, trade houses. Let's do that. America's favourite hoarder. Do you know, isn't it funny? Like, if I if I was in America, in my mind, I would like be living in some kind of weird caravan thing, and I'd be driving it around all over America, and I wouldn't have like a like a static home. I'd be in a caravan. Isn't it weird how you think? And 
you think it's hot all the time. You think, you know, you just live in a caravan, just drive around all the different breweries. You know, you could do that, essentially. You could do that in the summer months in the UK, couldn't you? Drive around all over the UK in the summer months. Just, <sighs> wouldn't that be nice? Just um, living in a mobile home, driving around all the breweries. How much fun would that be? How much fun would that be? National parks are the best thing about America, says Connor. Simon, uh, who do you think will be the Mercedes in the Mercedes alongside George Russell? Oh, we'll get to that in a moment. Oh, another one. Um, uh, who will be next to George Russell? Well, he's going to think he's the number one driver now, isn't he? He's going to think he's like number one. I'd like it to be Sainz on a personal level. I think Sainz would do a great job at Mercedes. Um, I wouldn't want to see Vettel come back. He made that whole environmentally friendly, don't want to race petrol cars anymore. Why change your mind? Why why come back if you made that decision? Probably because he thought, actually, life's too short to be picking up plastic all the time and recycling it. You know, it, it, it's funny, isn't it? A year away from something, all of a sudden, maybe it wasn't the right decision. Um, no, James Alves, I don't think it will be Sergio. I think, I think, Sir, ooh, pardon me, I think Sergio's in a bit of trouble, to be honest. Um, he's just not competing, is he? Um, Carlos Sainz, I think, is the, the, a real good, solid bet for the Mercedes drive. Uh, also, the snooker um, championship has been brought out. Who's Ronnie got? Ronnie's, Ronnie's got Jackson Page. Jackson Page in the first round. Uh, everyone's so boring. No, I know. I, 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 I'm kind of thinking that myself at the moment, David Board. I'm, I am... David, <coughs> it was David, but um, F1 is bored. I, I am a little bit bored at the moment. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to. A little something left me when Jensen Button retired, to be honest. I was a big Jensen Button fan. Drinking the vocation stout, darkness beacons on the perfect draft. It's a nice beer, but because you can't adjust the temperature on the original machine, it's a bit cold for my liking. Ian Rawston. Hey Simon, uh, we are sat at the craft beer bar in Girona, Spain, drinking Pilsner and Vice Beers and still managed to catch you live. God forbid we missed the Stone Crow. Hey Jacob, enjoy Spain, my friend. Ah, lots of people talking tonight. I'm gonna make a channel called Fake Lager Craft Wine. Are you, Leon? Fake Lager Craft Wine. <laughs> So we've got nearly 200 people in. It's quite positive, that, isn't it? I'm quite happy with that. Quite a positive thing. Simon, do you like the bikes? Uh, MotoGP, my brother-in-law has been trying to get me into MotoGP for a long time. I I, I, I often think I've ne I would never go on a motorbike and I'm just not really that interested because I'm not a biker. Don't know why people are turning up when snooker and golf, etc. The best seat in the house is at home. Big Kev, Formula One, definitely. Definitely were Formula One. In Formula One, you just see the cars doing this, don't you? You're just constantly rocking your head back and forth. Didn't do well by Boulevard Brewery. I think they did. American favourite hoarder. Uh, Mag is not a fan of the sprint racing. Mariah McKenzie likes truck racing. <laughs> so, what are you all drinking tonight? What are you all drinking and what snacks have you got for later? Do you have snacks? Simon, do you read about the 53 craft brewery closing last year? Den Bo oh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's tough times. It's tough times at the moment. My favourite weekend in Monaco Grand Prix with the Indy 500 on the same day. Very fun. Grab some brews and snacks. Yep. Swedish beer do you like? We have a vibrant craft beer. Oh, Andreas. 
lots. I've done mohawk, mohawk, uh, I've done lots and lots and lots of Swedish beer. Have a look on the channel. Put in Swedish craft beer on my channel. You'll see I've done hundreds of Swedish beers. Bruski. Um, Bruski actually made a beer named after me called Stone the Crows. And it was a tribute to what we do here on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, big, big. I've been to Sweden. Yeah. Come on, Simon, no bite because you're tipsy all the time. <laughs> Worms and Ales and Smith Scampi Fries. Nice, Ryan Ford. Ryan McKenzie is on the Perfect Draft Stella and the Salami Snacks you reviewed the other day. They're nice, aren't they? Mark Lenz on Heineken with the Mixed Nuts. Frankie's on Captain Morgan's Rum. Is Lervig Swedish? Lervig is Norwegian. Connor's drinking Paul and a Hells. Couldn't find the vice beer. M&S, really? Augustine Hells, pickled onions, lovely. Pearl and Backer Pilsner, Steve Jeffrey, good stuff. Pringles watching the football highlights. Baron Vice, vice beer. Drinking beers from Dudless Brewery, Lithuania. And special brew and Guinness, mate. Lots of you enjoying, enjoying your night then. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I really am enjoying my night, too. Molly, will you do that curtain properly, please? Yeah. Messina Cristani de Sale. Francesco, it's a beautiful beer, that. And G-Baz got some Cronbacher going down, lovely. Love me some olives stuffed with peppers. Can't, lots of people love olives these days. My first stone crow for months has worked nights now, nights off tonight though. Adam McVeigh. Adam! Glad to see you in the stone crow. Right, Ryan McKenzie says, right peeps, snacks. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Pickled eggs, who likes them? I love them. I love a pickled egg. Ryan McKenzie, absolutely love a pickled egg. I bought them a year ago, Christmas, and I put them on the table. I was the, I, 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 I thought everybody would eat them. I was the only one. Any day trips, <coughs> pardon me. Any day trips visiting local breweries planned for the upcoming months? Yes, I'm off to York tomorrow. Brian Hintz, have a look at York, UK. Not New York, but York. Um, Simon, how's the great escape, Matt Taverner? Uh, I've never had a pickled egg. Oh, Big Kev, they're lovely. They're lovely pickled eggs. Hello, Simon, nice to see you. My word, the... the Meet beer boss. Hello. Great escape. Well. Well. It's, it's all all right, you know. It's, it's all going. I'm being respectable. It's all, it, it's all okay. I'm keeping keeping myself to myself. Um, yeah. It's just, yeah. We had some news. We had some. We had some news. Um, we got a couple of how. We got a couple of empty houses in the street, and one of them is being filled. And uh, one of the neighbours told me that uh, who's moving in, and um, they literally people are moving from round the corner. And uh, it should be interesting. <laughs> it should be really interesting. Uh, ABK at Brew London this year. Can't wait. ABK at Brew London. Are they? I should be going to Brew London. I got tickets. Uh, when is... Can anybody tell me when is Brew London? I'm supposed to be going. Roy Brewling's been a member for 17 months. Let me get this delirium. So I reviewed this today. Oh, it the sun was out this morning. The sun was out this morning. And I reviewed this this morning. Ah, oh. and I sat in the garden. Next Thursday. Oh no. Ooh, Brew London. Oh, that's going to be tough. Um, Eleven point five percent ABV. Sun was shining. Eleven o'clock this morning. I sat in the garden. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful beer. In fact, I changed my thumbnail. I changed the thumbnail to 
Is this the best Belgian beer ever? Is it the best Belgian beer ever? Oh, it was. That was just the, one of the most glorious, one of the most glorious beers I've ever had the privilege to drink on the channel. Nice one, Mush. Stay blessed. I will, Horace. Um, I'm gonna get a beer out the fridge. So I put, did you hear that crack? Did anybody hear that crack then? Like a plastic noise cracking. I put 20 bottles in the bottom drawer of the fridge and I just pulled the drawer out only a little bit because it weighs a ton and it went, it just cracked. Lesson to be learned. Don't put 20 bottles of beer in your fridge, in your fridge door. Uh, not, not fridge door, in your fridge drawer. The drawer at the bottom. It cracked. It was all. I bought it in uh, 2020. The fridge, it's all right. It's a, it's a Curry's special. It's in Matsui or something, I think. Hang on. Kenwood. Kenwood, Kenwood's like a brand, in it, of curries. I didn't want any water things on the front. Didn't want any ice. We did that with the last fridge. We bought a Samsung fridge with a water container on the front. Forgot it was there. Forgot the damn thing was there. Never, ever used it. Let me know in the comments box. Have you got a fancy fridge? with ice and water and everything else coming out the front of it and you never use it or do you use it? I just wanted a plain American thing. Just a freezer on one side, fridge on the other, American style fridge, but I didn't want anything on the front. Aldi Gold Nell tonight, how we, go, how we doing? I'm doing all right. School by error, that water contained you fill with beer, Ryan McKenzie. Uh, I went to a new beer launch at Walsall FC the weekend. No full brew, co from America. Some fantastic West Coast IPA, sounds good. Put a vinyl amp on the record player, Treasure Norway. Well, I should do, shouldn't I? I have, I got a dedicated beer fridge down here. Um, but our electric bill's like quite high. My wife don't let me put it on. <laughs> the top of the fridge and my freezer is colder than the bottom. Anyone else? Yes, yes, I think so. No fancy fridge, but it keeps everything cold, so I'm happy. Yes, exactly that. Plain quality appliances at best. Same with coffee makers, etc., etc. Yep, yep, just a plain... It's American, it's double-doored. I wanted one of them. I wanted one of them. They're really handy. They're really handy. You got everything on the high up. I used to have a freezer with the, the freezer was underneath the fridge. Where did I put that beer bottle? I got a big fridge freezer in my kitchen. A beer <laughs> um, this Look at this lovely looking thing. Look at the sediment in there. Wow, look at that. There is no letter D in the word refrigerator, but there is a D in fridge. Yeah. Mike the Saddler's on the Banks Amber Bitter. It's not bad, that. Used to be a pound, that. Might be £1.25 now, but it was cheap as chips for a pound, that beer. Just over a Camel White Dog Brewery from the Netherlands. Excellent. Stephen Manga. Sounds good. Uh, have to concede to having a Samsung water dispenser fridge. Never used it. It leaks to Wizard. Yeah, I just never, like, we had it. We had it. Never used it. St. Bernardus is good. Uh, 
this is going down fantastic tonight. It's a really nice vice beer. 5.3 ABK. It's really good. It's really good stuff. Drinking high hops by Purple Moose with triple cooked chip butty. Oh, Matt Reese. I had triple cooked chips from Aldi today with fish. Banks Amber Ale is good stuff. No, it is. It is a rock hopper. It's, it's cheap and it's reliable beer. Cheap and very reliable. So, where are we with like? Can we do 150 likes? Where did I get ABK Vice Beer? That's a really good question. Where do you get it? Um, I imagine, have a look on their website. They must deliver throughout the UK. Um, I'm fortunate enough that Bag in Booze, Parramatta, there we are, pa Bag in Booze, sell ABK. Might as well alcohol free vision, driving later, Sai. Ah, don't worry about it, Mountain. Don't worry about that. Cheer from Ukraine. Uh, Simon be dancing his knickers for 200 likes. <laughs> yeah, come on, 200 likes. <laughs> Can we do 150 likes? 1664 from France, all beer, says Prob Probos. Eight more likes, eight more likes to go. Eight more likes to go for 150 likes. Seven more likes to go. Seven more likes to go at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub for 150 likes. Come on, everybody, let's do it. Let's push this live stream. We're doing, I'm really pleased. 147 likes. 147, I mean, yeah, I'm really pleased with the turnout. 234 of you for a Thursday night. It's really good. Really, really solid, solid numbers that. I really do appreciate all of you watching tonight. And I'm going to say a big thank you. Uh, what temperature would you serve? Abba, Old Speckleham, London, Pride, etc. Probably 10 degrees. About 10. I like to experience all of the malt quality with those beers. If you chill a beer like that too low, you're going to lose the malt quality. Have you ever tried Korean beer, Simon? Been watching for a while. No love for the content, mate. Thank you very much, Max TNS. I haven't, but I would like to. I would love to find some Korean beer. I really would, and drink it and enjoy it. And well, that would be that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? One hundred and fifty-five likes. We got one hundred and sixty-five. One hundred and sixty-five likes, and there's two hundred and thirty. 230 of you lovely people watching. Uh, America's favourite hood. I'm drinking the Ukrainian Obalon. It's really, really good. There we are. I've never had that one. Aldi have reduced the vice beer like to £1.49. Careful though, have they reduced the ABV? You've got to be careful, haven't you? Beer time comes early on the east coast of USA, says Analog Shop. MW, hi Simon, do you recommend a break from alcohol? Um, well, that's a really good question, actually. MW, I'm going to address this right now. I've been going red in the face lately. Does anybody get that red in the face? Does anybody get that red neck? Red neck, red cheeks, looks like Santa Claus a little bit. Well, I've been having little kind of like bouts where my ears are ringing, like ringing, and my face goes red. And and I'm like, ah, what's happening type of thing. Um, so, as mad as this sounds, dehydration, is that what it is? As mad as this sounds... I very rarely drink on the weekend. I finished the Stone Crow. I finished my beer reviews on a Friday morning. Blood breath. I thought so. Uh, spirit drinkers normally get that most blood pressure. Yeah, I, think I thought so. Um, headaches as well. Headaches. <sighs> I, I just think I'm nearly 40. I'll be 45 now in two weeks. I just think it's an age thing, isn't it? Uh, so, so yeah, that's what's been going on with me. 
Um, so I finished the Stone Crow on a Friday. Oh, sorry, I finished my beer reviews on a Friday morning. Um, and then I don't drink Friday night. I don't drink Saturday. I don't drink Sunday. I have two and a half days off. I had two and a half days off on the weekend. And then Monday I did my reviews and it all come back. Red face, ears are ringing, headache. And I was like, oh man, yeah, what's going on here then? But you can only kick the can down the road so long, can you? Like I, I do, I do like, um, I do six mile walks a day, every single day, six mile walk, six miles, six miles, six miles. How long have you been in the car? Uh, three minutes. Cool, thank you. Carla says, thanks for being honest enough. Uh, not age 45, when you young, have days off and drink lots of water each day, as Fisher. Dad's the same as you. <laughs> Shake the right thing and leave a bathroom. The best craft beer I have ever tasted is one called Love Hearts After Sweets. You have ever tried it. It was in a local guest ale on the Real Ale Trail in Staley Bridge. Sounds good. As long as you can take days off, it doesn't see a problem, says Bob Roberts. Stephen Bakewell says, evening, mate. So, um, oh, I don't, I don't know. I just think, like, have a shower, Reese. Um, I don't know. It's hard in my game. I'll be 59 in June. Don't give up, Simon. It's a, it's a hard game. It's like... Um, you know, like... I got so far from home, I had to get the train. Seven mile walk. What, did you just, like, walk for seven miles out? I do three miles out, three miles back. Um, no, Reese, you said you were going in the shower. Hot flush at the same earring in, being told it's anxiety. Might be anxiety, yeah, yeah. I drink three pints of water, no matter what, after every session. Never have a hangover for 20 years. Please just drink water. Uh, I find it hard to cut back at all, mates. People, um, the thing is, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And we got, so let's just, we got people who live around here. And they li they've lived clean lives. Like they've lived clean lives and they're like well into their 80s. And they're still hobbling. And they still go to the doctors. And they still get dizzy spells and they're still, I just think the body's gonna, the body's gonna break down whatever, you know? The body's gonna break down. The body's you're not gonna live forever. You can you can try and lead a really clean life if you want. Uh and you might get to 85, but you're still dizzy, you're still falling over, you're still going to the doctors, you're still on medication. You know, it it's at least how I look at life is that I'm enjoying it. The sun was out this morning. I was sat in the garden. I had this fantastic Delirium Tremens beer. And I, 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 I just find those situations when the sun's out, you've got a beer in your hand, you know, the birds are singing, they're listening to the birds, and it's just nice, and you can hear the leaves blowing in the trees, and you've got, a, you've got your beer. Bliss. I, it's, you've got the sun on your face. It's, you've got your beer in your hand, drinking great beer. It's bliss, isn't it? It's bliss, it's, um, I, uh, I'm 33 and diabetic. I, I can't imagine anything worse than being old. And ill, I'd rather just have fun within reason and say, oh, this, this is it, Paramatta, I mean. Stephen Bakewell. Says as long as you drink is biscuity and bready, that's the main thing. A lot of this is healthy, isn't it? A lot of it, you know, it's malt, 
wheat, biscuits, nuts. Barry McDermott. I like to lead a clean life. And five o'clock Friday evening hits and I'm straight to the local in the work clothes. Nothing, nothing like it long. Absolutely Barry McDermott. The monks drank beer. It, it, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, bottle of champagne in the morning. First thing, bottle of champagne. Even when he was prime minister. Then he'd have something else, bottle of wine, then he'd have something else and he'd finish off with beer. He'd finish off with beer at the end of it. And he lived to like 91. Please take care, please have a health check with liver hectic function test. Reducing down alcohol when necessary means you can enjoy drinking for more years just to draw blood. That's it for the test. Meekin, well, um, I think uh, I, I've been trying to been trying to work out a little bit more i mean i've done a little bit of working out this week been walking a little bit more just trying to like it's like this isn't it get back get back like like arnold schwarzenegger get back just pushing pushing the blood pressure back get back get back <laughs> stay away I, You work hard and you take care of your family, so enjoy these small magical life moments, whether in the garden with a son and a beer or with friends and laughing. Yeah. Life is for living, no reruns, enjoy your beer. Exactly, Stephen Bakewell. German purity law, it was cleaner than the water. Absolutely, ABK. Uh, Martin Dooley, I'm 57 and 20 kilos higher than I was at 37. I still drink in moderation and I'm doing a 300 mile. 300 mile ride with charity in a month. Getting older does not mean stopping. Ma Martin Dooley, exactly. I like to think, I like to think when I get older, I'm going to have even more time. I'm going to have even more time and I'm going to be even more free when I get a little bit older, you know. Um, spoke about this before. Spoke about this before. It's, uh, you know, um, life as a way of, Planting anchors. Can you give me some examples of your life's anchors? Is it your job that keeps you where you are? Is it school? Kids in school that keeps you where you are? Is it, a, you know, your wife's job that keeps you where you are? Is it family that keeps you where you are? Let me know in the comments box. If you don't mind, I'm asking you directly. Well, what's, what, what, what is it? That keeps you where you are, even though, well, Nigel Watson went to Finland. Hello, Nigel, how are you doing? Um, what is it that, that, that keeps you where you are in the world, in, in your part of the world? And where would you like to go if you didn't have that anchor? I like to call it anchors. Like, like the ship's anchor's gone down, you know, boomf. In my reality, it's school. See the kids there. Yeah. In my reality, it's, it, it's school. My kids are in school. But the moment, the moment they they go off to uni or whatnot, you know, the anchor's coming up type of thing, and you know, we we we, we can generally kind of go somewhere less wet. You can always pull the anchor up, Nigel Watson. Yeah, you know. I met a really wise woman once and she did, I use the word anchor. Um, she used window, windows open, window closed, window open, window closed. And she said they only open for a small time. They only open for a small time and then they slam shut again in the wind. And when the, when the window is open, you must take that opportunity. You must take that opportunity to go, Let's go, because the window will shut. Or the, I, I'd rather use anchor, like the anchors down in the seabed, you know? Bob says, good people around you. Uh, Roy Bruni says, my wife, I have nothing to say. 
James has them, let me guess. Uh, is the carbohydrates and sugar in processed foods that is making people unhealthy? Probably. Nigel Watson. Um, and you tra didn't give a shout out to JB Budget Travel. Who watches you daily? JB Budget Travel. Hello. How are you doing? Thanks for watching. Toby Jackman says, I'm in Cardiff, but my missus would move to Scotland if it wasn't for our 19-year-old son. <laughs> is he in uni or is he, like, just settled in Cardiff? This is the thing, isn't it? If you, I mean, if he's settled in Cardiff, that's it, isn't it? You, you, you make that decision then, if what you want to do. I was born in Bedworth. Can't see me living anywhere else. I love to see the world, but this is my place. Stephen Bakewell. I get it. I get it, I get it. Um, Connor says, university till I graduate in a couple of months and I have no idea where I'll land. Oh, live it now. Live it now, Connor, honestly. I was just talking about windows opening, windows closing. Honestly, it doesn't stay open long, the window. It doesn't stay open long. In the US, everything has high fructose corn syrups, chips, soda, even some beer. Sick of it. Yep. America's favourite hoarder. I do over 10,000 steps a day at work and one hour swim on a Saturday and eat and drink what I want. That suits me, Mike the Saddler. Perfect. Why are football referees always referred to as anchors? I don't get it. I don't, I've never heard that one to be honest, Big Kev. Um, Blue Rizzler says evening, Simon. Hello, how are you? Me right, Nigel Watson. This is true about windows of opportunity. Everybody gets some good luck in their life. The difference is that successful people make the most of the luck. <laughs> ah, and then Toby Jackman says, Go into uni in September. <sighs> Whatever you fancy doing, isn't it? Love Cardiff Bay, yeah, Cardiff Bay's nice. Uh, you still got the cold, Simon, or you shook it off now? Then, oh, I've, I've had a cold for six months. It won't go. I've had a cold for six months. <laughs> just discovered Estrella Galatia. Just wow, 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 please review. Andrew Stevens, I will. Blooming corn syrup, yeah. Frankie, 100% carnivore, no fruit, no veg, age 62. Walk seven miles, six mornings per week. Whoa, where did that go? Uh, no meds, never get ill, five or six height, way over 10, two. Have been for my three years carnivore, I lost three stone, wow. The referees, oh, I get it, right, Billy Boy Nine, right. <laughs> Kind of was the way forward, be nice about food. Um, Big Kevin, um, I, I totally get it, Nigel, totally get it. Big Kevin, imagine growing up with rich parents, able to travel the world. I ain't a reality for most of us. I think, um, I think years ago, the difference, was, the difference was that house prices were much more reasonable. Most people could buy a house. Now we're living in a world where I don't know what my kids will do. I don't know. They won't be able to afford a house. It's crazy, like, crazy prices. Really expensive. Just had some Watts, it's flaming hot. Where have they been all my life? Oh, they're nice, aren't they? You don't need money to travel, you need skills. Skills that in are in demand abroad. Well, yes, Nigel Watson, absolutely. Uh, good evening. Uh, love the wallpaper. Got any German beers on the line tonight? Yes, I am drinking. I am drinking some German beer right now. ABK Weiss beer. I'm drinking some AB, ABK Weiss beer. It is absolutely cracking. Just opened a six pack of Steinhauser, great German lager for the price. Oh, Mike the Sadler. It's fantastic. Fantastic value for money. 
Although, I think somebody mentioned to me that Aldi had put the price up. Aldi had put the price up recently. Yes, we're an hour in. We're an hour in. Nearly two beers in. I really enjoyed last week's live stream. I enjoyed it that much. I, I had another beer, didn't I? I was like, oh, go on then, one more, one more. We don't get ABK in Finland. How does it compare to Francis Kana? Very similar, Nigel Watson. It's a very, very similar beer. Steinhardt is Dortmund of the export relabel quality beer. Uh, Ali D has been busy last month or so. I missed why you've changed to Thursday nights, mate. Uh, I always do this time of year. I like to spend the weekend with the family in the summer. I'm not going to beer, but got a bottle of Merlot. Might have to get into it. Worldwide Ghost, get into it. Get into it. <laughs> Tony, Berliner Pilsner for me. Incredibly balanced and refreshing. Very nice beer. Very, very nice beer. American favourite hoarder. I wish we didn't have to pay stupid duty fees on shipping across the pond. We used to be sending stuff to everybody everywhere. Well, yeah. Uh, Aldi Statesider's rubbish beer selection. Do you have a video of different styles of beer glasses and the benefits? I get asked that all the time. I get asked it all the time. I wish I did. £5.29 now. Is it Mike the Saddler? For six. These would be about four quid. Blue Rizzler says, Fantastic, good try. Just about to open a ramrod from Young's Brewery. 79p in home bargains at the moment. Would love to see a review. I must go and buy a ramrod from Young's. I have been after that beer for years. For 14 years. I've been after ramrod. Never tried it. Never tried it. Love the sound of it. Love the sound of that beer. That takes me right back. To the beginning of my channel, I can remember reading about Young's Ramrod, and I need to, I need to try it. Yeah, I really do. You look really up for a good session tonight, Simon. That ABK is going down very easy. Good topics being discussed tonight. Thank you very much, Paddy the Scotsman. That's fair enough. Can't fault it. This is Addy D. Is the cocktail bar still open in Barry? I still on one. Yes, it is. Have you tried the Pearl and Back of Ice in the middle of Little? Not yet, but I will. I will, I will. Uh, they just started selling Cronenberg Rosé in Finland. Had one last night. It was quite good. Not too sweet. Yeah, that's the trouble with Rosé beers, isn't it? They can be quite sweet. Robin M. Drinking a Delft Knoller at the moment. An amber beer from Holland. Sounds good. There he is. Travis is in. Travis is in. Good day, Si. It's 5am here. Currently in transit to Melbourne from country Victoria. Sounds good. Sounds really, really good. Sounds really, really good. Oh, that early beer is well out of my system now. Um, I've got a big parcel on its way from Trav. Um, Trav from Australia has sent me like something like 25 beers are making our way to the UK. It's going to be great when they arrive. Some of them look fantastic. Really, 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 really looking forward to it. Thank you, Trav. And some jerky. <sighs> some Australian jerky as well. Christine, Hello, Christine. It's been ages. How are you? Hope you, Mal, and the kids have been well, Simon. Hopefully some uh, weather here soon. Yes, won't be long. Where did you buy the ABK from, Simon? Uh, the a oh, oh, that's the second one tonight. Canned. Um, so it was sent to me by ABK. Uh, ABK were kind enough to send me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
100 bottles of beer. <laughs> I, I was I tr not, not like, so, couple of things here, couple of things here. Um, ABK noticed that I was drinking a lot of little Perlenbacher and, and Francis Kana. And of course, it's fantastic. I think that the brewery, the brewery have seen a, an opportunity to sponsor the live feeds. Um, the other thing as well is we're going to talk about the foodie festivals. When they're coming up, we're going to talk about the foodie festivals and enjoying the foodie festivals and people going to the foodie festivals and maybe buying some tickets for the foodie festivals to try the foodie festivals and to drink some ABK beer. So there was a couple of things. So there was a couple of, there was a couple of reasons why um, it was like a would you like to drink ABK beer in your live streams? Yes, absolutely. What I would like to say, though, and this is very important for me, is that no money changed hands with this sponsorship. It was a case of would you like to drink ABK Vice beer in your live streams? Yeah, job done. Job done. So um, that was the that was the deal. I drink ABK Vice beer. Um, and I don't drink Franciscana or, or the little beers for the next 100. I'm two in. I'm two. You'll have to keep count. You'll have to keep count. I've got 98 left. But where can you buy it in the UK? Bag in booze, apparently. Anyone remember the ABK Stout that was in Max and Spencer's like a year or so ago? They, they've got a Pilsner as well, ABK Pilsner, Max and Spencer's Pilsner. Not too bad, Simon. I've just been busy working and trying to cover the crazy high bills in the UK. Christine, yeah, it's bonkers, isn't it? Uh, recently enjoyed a few beers from Arkell's Brewery, Moonlight and Voyager, amongst my favourites. Nicely washed down with some posh pig pork crappy Mike the Sadler. I really like Arkells. I really like Arkells. Great stuff. Sounds like a good deal. Well, you know. Speaking of Australia, I love the Cooper's Backland Ale and the Vintage Ale is very good as well, Analog Shop. Give them my name, Simon. I always drink beer in my stream. <laughs> Just poured a glass of red, cheers. Uh, where about Germany is ABK, so they're just outside of Munich. <laughs> so they are, if, I, if I'm right in saying, they're about 40 miles outside of Munich, I think. So they can, they, they're like 700 years old. It was the Acti, Acti Brewery. They're like 700 years old. The history goes back 700 years. Really, really like a long, long, old, old brewery. They're a Bavarian brewery that don't get to be part of Oktoberfest. That's it, Parramatta. You got it. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, it's it's a lovely beer. It is a lo and I'm not I'm not just saying that because they sent me hundred bottles of beer. I'm saying that because it generally is really good vice beer. What well, ABK, so if you want to buy a ABK beer relatively close to you, then pop into Max and Spencer's and they've got a lager. Max and Spencer's bottled German lager and it's got ABK written across the front. It's good stuff. Jonah said, yeah, I, I like that deal too. Paul and a 12 or 21 pound can't beat it. I think he's starting to get it. Hey, look at this. It's like 10 past eight and we've still got some light. I tried ABK Vice from Beers of Vida once and what I remember it was pretty decent. It's good stuff. ABV is 5.3% Nigel Watson. 5.3% ABV. 
I'm going to let there be light. So I'm going to unplug my plug from the socket and plug it back in again. And that, oh, that puts that one on. Oh. That puts that on. I'll put that on and then Alexa, turn on the conservatory lights. Okay. That puts that one on and then we got one more. Uh. Nope, not that one. Ah, so over here, I've been moving things. I've been moving things, right? This one should go over here. And then you probably won't notice now. Right, there we are. We're all lit up for the night. We have light. Um, so I've just drunk my second beer. I'm going to go and get, who's real ale craft beer to me? Ah, Christine is. Uh, Wainwright's beer is the best value beer, in my opinion. Only £1.70 a bottle and a lot better than Hobgoblin. Good stuff. I do like Wainwright's. ABK should send you some of their wheat beer glasses. Ah, we will be getting some of those soon. How does the speaker turn on lights? Are the lights plugged into the speaker or something? No, 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 it's... Um, We've got the Philips Hue lighting strip. And you can also buy, I'll grab one now. You can buy smart plugs these days. So this is a smart plug. So it's got a button on the side. You can do it manually. I, I generally do it manually. So you plug it in. Click on, click off, I'll turn the light on. Or you can download the TCP app. Yep, that's what it's called. TCP. And you can get it to turn on your Alexa or your Google. It'll turn the light on for you. LED, yeah, it's kind of like, I might put it over there anyway, but yeah, kind of like, I just wanted it all to match. Imagine even five years ago, shouting out, turn on the lights and they go on. I'm constantly amazed by modern tech. Yeah, it's big, Kevin, it's bonkers, isn't it? Uh, Michael Hill says, cheers from North America. Uh, Worldwide Ghost says, I still live in the Stone Age. Oh, we got a new member. Um... Gary Davis, welcome to the Lifeboat, keeping us afloat. Thank you so very much for the membership. If you want to become a member of the channel, hit the join button down below. We have a join button and that is our membership. If you want to just like support the channel a little bit every month, um, hit the join button down below. It's from as, as little as £1.99 a month. Um, it's generally to support the channel. Some of the higher tiers, uh, it gets me out and about. I get out, review pubs, review 
bars and cities and that sort of thing. So thank you very much for the membership. If you want to become a member of the channel and support us, there's a join button down below. Uh, it's normally ghost boys that turn lights on around these parts. Uh, Ali does a few good lagers for a pound a can, but only 330 million in it. So it's false economy. Well, I suppose so, Christine. Sound is back on now. Back in the game. Oh, um, I'll tell you what happened. My phone rang. My pick up of the Snooker World Championship draw is Ding versus Jack. Oh, that would be good. Mike the Sadler, that would be good. Uh, I'm going to get a beer from the fridge. I uh, would love to hear anyone's ghost stories. Uh, oh, yes, of course, yes. Wizard has become a member of the channel. Thank you very much, Wizard. Really appreciate it. Uh, am I... It, it, well, it, it is like 8 o'clock in the UK. 8 o'clock in the evening, I'm having a drink. I, I, I gen generally drink whatever time I want, anyway. Um, there's no... I don't see time as a... Like you can't drink. If you fancy a beer, have a beer, whatever time of day it is. Well, that sounds a bit... Uh... Are you still using the iPhone, Simon? I remember you thought the GoPro was still... Well, no, I have. Um, I'm taking it up to York. I'm taking my iPhone, which I'm using right now to live stream. And I'm taking my GoPro. I'm really hoping to get some use out of the GoPro because it cost me a lot of money and I haven't used it. I was so disappointed when I when I plugged it in and I, I thought, yeah, this is my new camera. Got the microphone, paid a lot of money and it was, the quality was abysmal. The quality was unbelievably abysmal and I was gutted, absolutely gutted. So I'm hoping that I can use it up in York for some bits and pieces. For the for the common man, I, I mean, I've been on YouTube. You can adjust all the settings on it if you want. But for the common man, you don't... I can't understand all that. I just expect the damn thing to work. You expect in a conservatory for your GoPro to just work in the light, don't you? When it, the quality was abysmal, I was, like, I was like, oh, I'll just keep it for now. And I ended up keeping it for like six months and now I got it forever. Kenny Joe 7 asa uh, it is going to be take a while to get used to Thursday night. To Kenny Joe, thank you so very much for the 10 US dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Oh, my father and I said... So ABK said, don't drink porn, but you're using a porn in a glass. Well, my dishwasher has the ABK glass in it. Uh, old Pascal and Croydon. Uh, even a site, huge new beer dropping. As the Lee M. Um, I'll pop down... I'll pop to Asda next week. I'll pick them up, I think. Uh, yes, Nigel, you're in Finland. I'm in London as well. So, oh, I see Nigel's having a chat with other people. Um, so, Christina says, GoPros do suck. Need to get a Panasonic Lumix. Yeah, that's everybody got it. And cheap. The quality is amazing. Like something you would use to make a film with. I had one of those. Panasonic Lumix things and all the settings on that dummy in as well. I ended up, I got it right. I got it right and I took it to Germany. And for some reason, when I got it out of the case when I got home, 
all the dials that I set perfectly had changed. And I was just so disheartened with that. I sold it to CEX. I took it straight to CEX and sold it. The, the, the one to go for is the Sony. The Sony's got something called product shot. The Sony has got product shot. So say I'm like, say I'm doing this. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure iPhones do it as well. Look at that. You can't beat an iPhone, can you? Remember that? Remember them days where I was like this? Mm, I was trying to, oh, it's going to focus. Oh, oh, it's going to focus. Remember those days? That was a Panasonic. That was a Fortune Panasonic, that was. I was like that. Oh, no. It kept on focusing on my face. But iPhones are brilliant. Look at that. There's no problem whatsoever, is there? And, and Sony's. Sony DSLRs, they got something called product shot. You put the product up to the camera, it focuses on the product. Absolutely brilliant. But again, they're like three grand. They're 3,000 pound. Have I been drinking this? I think so. I must have been. One day, what's the Sony one called? Sony, Sony DSLR. Oh, beautiful. A7R, that's, they're the boys. Is it A7 three or something? Oh, they're, they're the boys, they're like three grand. Just drink a lot of Lost Monster, 8.4% Nook Stout, new release and has a lovely £2.75. Can't go wrong. Mirrorless, they're the ones. <laughs> Keep using iPhone, looks perfect. Yeah, nice cameras. It says Worldwide Coast. Um, Tony, Simon, if you could play music in the background, what would you play as of right now? World on Fire, the Fallout music. I completed all the Fallout games from 2013, 2014. Been playing or been watching the new Fallout series and it brings it all back. All that music was brilliant. Can't I know. I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. Uh, 4K Sony Handycams are good. That's what exploring with Josh started on years ago. Only 500 quid now. Uh, getting a five litre can of Wallhouse Diplom pills. Oh, and own for the tomorrow. Have you tasted them, Simon? Oh, Andrew. Andrew Stevens. The Wallhouse Diplom pills is absolutely fantastic it is like the best one of the best pilsners i've ever drank in my life it's just fantastic i did a keg of it the other week on youtube um is the fallout series good i just watched rebel moon like the um yeah fallout series if you played fallout ryan it's really worth watching it's really good have you tried the two new breweries in Caerphilly, Dark Element and Coal Shed Brewing? Lee M, I've heard a lot about Dark Element. I've heard an awful lot about Dark Ele Element. Um, not tried either of their beers. You played Starfield, Si? No, my wife's got it. My wife's playing it. Oh, Connor, there we are. I haven't upset you. I, I don't like gangster rap either. Um, I had War of the Worlds playing the other night. Super album by Jeff Wayne. I have to listen to that one. I haven't listened to that yet. Do I make any DIY beers like Cooper's? Hunting and, hunting and Law. To be honest with you, I don't have time. I don't have time. By the time I review all the beer I review on YouTube, um... I don't have time to buy kits and do that. I, I simply haven't got... I'd like to, but I, 
don't have time. Rhys went to an old pub in Chester where they were playing music that sounded like Fallout music. Oh, I nearly fell asleep. It was so calm in there. Oh, fantastic. Have I ever played GTA? Yeah, like my wife said, do you want to have a go? And I immediately start driving like a maniac, smashing everything up, beating people up. <laughs> That's what GTA is for me. GTA is not a proper game. You just literally run everyone over and beat the beat. You know, I got the helicopters after me and oh God. Just poured on a glass of Merlot. Enjoy, Will White Ghost. Simon blowing his snot rocket off. Ah, oh, William, I know, sorry. Funniest thing I've seen on internet land today is Jake Paul apparently going to knock out. Ah, oh, you know, Christy, I, I, I don't even entertain it. I don't even entertain this whole Paul thing. I don't. I don't understand it. I never will. Um, he's like made it as a YouTuber. Now he's doing something else. Like you're either a YouTuber or you're not. But do you know what annoys me about this platform? People make it on this platform and they leave the platform. People still don't see the potential. See, I see the potential massively here as like, like, it's an encyclopedia. It's, 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 it's history, isn't it? I got a beer review coming up from Harvey's and Sun Brewery, Bicentennial Ale. It was their 200th anniversary beer from 1990. The Innocent Gun. Did anybody watch the Innocent Gun video? Innocent Gun... Uh, 20th anniversary. I It's the future, for me, it's the future of television. Evening, Simon Wood. How you doing, mate? And Matty98, good evening to you too. Um, for me, it's the future of television. Absolutely, the future of television is YouTube. So when people leave YouTube to have boxing matches... Off. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like for me, this is where I want to be. This is where I want to stay. Have you seen the rules to this fight? Oh, I have not seen. It's probably like make sure Mike Tyson can get out of, out of his rocking chair or something. Probably I don't know. Like he's so old. It's probably a good matchup. Because he's so, he's so blooming old, isn't he? Like, he... I spoke about this last night. I was playing snooker last night. And I had this argument. Mike Tyson, in his heyday, would make a mockery of today's boxers. All your Tyson Furies, all your... Anthony Joshua's. Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's it. My I was looking for it. I couldn't, couldn't get it in my head, Simon Wood. <laughs> I couldn't find them. Um, Mike Tyson would absolutely... They wouldn't get past one round. They would not get past one round. Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua. All of them. All of them. Boxing's at this time... It's a bit of a joke. I, I think it's a bit of a joke, to be honest with you. I don't really take it that seriously because nobody's really any good. It's, it, in, in your mind, watching this right now, is Tyson Fury in the best possible shape he could be in? Is he in the best po possible shape he could be in? Mike Tyson was a monster. He was a monster in his heyday. And he would, I think he would absolutely tear Tyson Fury apart. If if if, if Tyson Fury was around in those days. It, it just... 
Rico Varhees and Alan, how, how do you stay so positive, Simon? Gary Gallagher. Um, I don't read too much news. So somebody asked me, why, how do I stay so positive? Um, I don't read a lot of news. I, don't, I haven't bought a newspaper. I don't read much on the internet. <laughs> Mike, Simon would, yeah, have a little nibble if he was hungry. Uh, Lenny McLean. Oh, my goodness me. Lenny, I watched that man. Oh, he was a good... Oh, I mean, he was scared. I think if you walked... If, you, if you've seen that man in the street, he, he, he's enough to scare you, isn't he? He's enough... Just to look at that man is enough to scare you. He was like... Lenny McLean. <sighs> the other one was that Paul, um, that Paul bloke. He lived in, uh, he was from Huddersfield. Paul something. From the 90s. The one who smacked the crocodile on. Poor that. <laughs> Paul Daniels. The one that said he smacked a shark around the mouth. What was his name? I smack took my took my pumps off and I smacked him around the mouth with my pumps. What was his name? From Huddersfield, Paul something. He looked an absolute monster as well. Paul Hogan. Ah, oh, Paul uh Oh, monster of a man, anyway. Monster of a man. What was his name? Paul Sykes. Yay! Hop scenes in. Paul. I, I like Paul Sykes. He's he's my he's my type of like. You know when you want to watch something on the telly, something like something a bit different. Paul Sykes. Paul, what a what a what a monster of a man he was, what a monster of a man. Um, he ended up. Um, he's from Wayfield. I used to see him all the time. Did you really, Hopsing? Did you really? Um, he had a terrible demise. <laughs> he had a terrible demise. So he was homeless at the end, and and some young kids set fire to him. Didn't, didn't, he lived, they caught fire to him, they, they, he was asleep, homeless, and they, and they literally set him on fire. <sighs> terrible, terrible, like, what people do, like, if you're homeless, you know, I, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that person on fire. Like, why would you do that? Why, why on earth, why on earth would you do that? I remember the story of, oh yes, Simon, well, yeah, Paul, it's on YouTube. It's like an hour documentary about his life. Apparently, really intelligent man, but he liked the source a bit too much. Out of all these social media boxing events, the Jake Paul Tyson thing is the only interesting. I don't think so. See, I, I don't. Ho hopefully, I, I'm not offending you here, Tony, but it's just a difference of opinion. I, I just don't see it. I just don't like. These people are big business people. The big business people, they all that interested in this. I I just can't get. I I I won't allow myself. I won't allow myself to get interested in anything like that because. I love this platform. I love YouTube. I think this platform is brilliant, and and all I see. It's made for TV, not enthusiasts. All I see from people who make it on YouTube, they make it on YouTube, you know the first thing they do? They turn their back. The moment they've made it on YouTube, they turn their back on YouTube. And I think it's the biggest mistake. It's the biggest mistake you can make because I, I think, I still believe, I still believe that this is the future. This is the future of television. If you can build something here and you can make something absolutely mega, 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 this is the future. This is the future. I don't... Like, it's like if I made it on YouTube as a beer reviewer, would I then 
immediately start setting up boxing matches with people. It it's it's a, for me it's a joke. It's a complete joke. I don't I don't I I won't even read about it. I won't even watch any media stuff. It in my mind this thing is not happening. It's not happening. Then Paul Sykes have a connection with Char prop more than likely LED. Another guy who uh shouldn't be we got much worse people at least in five years <laughs> well uh walk past barney's brewery today in edinburgh today simon do you remember barney's marshmallow stout back in the day i don't to be honest to this day that is the best bang for buck beer of my life i've never heard of it i gotta be honest uh, what well, well, I'd say, but well, this is the thing, isn't it? What if they offered you ten million? Well, yeah, of course, I would take it. I would take it. But what I'm trying to say here, white sabers, is that is that I would return to YouTube. I would return because I still think this is the future. I wouldn't just like wipe my wipe my feet with it and be done. Simon Wood, I went to Madison Square Garden and boy, is that a disappointing venue. It is no Albert Hall. Ah, I know. It, it, the Americans got a the Americans got a fantastic way of marketing. They really do, don't they? They've got a fantastic way. I've never really had any interest in going to the Royal Albert Hall. It never really crosses my mind. But you mentioned Madison Square Garden and the Ameri they've just got away, haven't they? The Americans have just got a way of like I've heard of it. Why have why have I heard of Madison Square Gardens? It's on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Why have I heard of that? Why do I want to go? The Americans have got a funny way of advertising everything, haven't they? You know, evening, uh, Stephen. How you doing? I'm having a, a, a cheeky vice beer. Uh, I watch far too much YouTube uh, than I do TV. Uh, I watch a lot of iPlayer too, but not much in the way of live scheduled TV. James Byers, only football for me. Football, Formula One, snooker. MSG atmosphere is hockey is great. Though low ceilings. Um, I agree. Uh, Paul Tyson is a tasteless spectacle. But out of all of the, these, it's the only slightly interesting one. Ah, Tony, okay. I, I, thank you, Tony. I mean, I'm only giving my own opinion here and I'm glad I haven't upset anybody. So thanks, thanks to, for me. You gave me your opinion. I gave you my opinion. You know, it's a pub, isn't it? It's, it's a virtual pub where we can all kind of like have conversations about stuff. Connor says, I wish YouTube had competition. Well, I, it has. It has, Connor. It's called TikTok. My kids don't go on YouTube. My kids don't go on YouTube anymore. They see it as old. They see it as for the old people now. They're on TikTok. The sooner, the sooner, well, I can't, well, get, get shot of it. I can't get, get shot of TikTok. Get, get, my kids are all over it, like, you know. Um, I've been to New York twice, but never been to inside the Madison Square Garden. Walked past it lots of times, though. I saw BB King in Boston, however. Great city. Great concert. <laughs> Beardy, hello, Beardy. How are you doing? Drinking two he's extra dry. Uh, America. Oh, that's Australian. Ordered, did you? Order a load of it. Favourite Aussie lager. Enjoy. In, you enjoy your two he's. Brilliant, uh, Beardy. Garden of the S. Ah, right. Um, I bought 12 cans of London Black on the absent Asp uh, uh, oh, and Spatch and Hobday website. It's arriving tomorrow. Andrew Rawlingson. It's a cracker. It's a cracker of a beer. The Royal Albert Hall is so small in real life too, but at least you know what to expect. 
Right, where are we with all the comments? Happy Thursday, and my first can of forged uh, day, and I pick it over Guinness now. Very smooth and drinkable. All the USA YouTube fish tubers I watch are setting up pay for view boxing matches against each other. Fishing? What the fishing? Fish? What? Fishing channels fighting each other. I tell you what. Uh, not tuning in for all. I'm okay, Beardy. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hello, Christopher Kilmer. How you doing? Uh, next up, Ronnie O'Sullivan knocks out Ricky Hatton. Yeah, this is this is what it's getting to, isn't it? Um, this is where we are at the moment. We got another member, uh, Christopher Tate, a member for two months. Hi, Sire. Hope you're well, mate. Thank you very much. I am very, very well. 1984, and it was in Hammersmith Odeon. It was a mainly plank gig. What, in uh, the Royal Albert Hall? Is that what it was? Oh, um, Cure Boy Worm, what's your highest snooker break? Oh. I went out last night. I'm going to speak about it. I'm going to speak about this. I lost the first frame on the black. Second frame, refocused. I took a 15 point lead. I went 15, I went, I went something like 19-1 up. I was roaring along, I was doing really well and the phone rang, phone rang. And it was one of those phone calls, half past seven in the night, half past seven in the night. And uh, it was to do with like stuff going on in my life and the person who rang me was supposed to be really good at his job really really good at his job and he hadn't even read he didn't even take the time before he rang me to read what had happened on a particular day recently and I could tell because he was saying like like really stupid stuff to me and uh, and I was like I can't really talk I'm playing snooker I can't really talk I'm playing snooker and I, I said you haven't even read you haven't even read the file have you you've not even read the file you haven't even like looked at what you're supposed to be looking at you phone me off the whim, winging it, trying to palm me off. Uh, I'm not having it. I said, I'm, I'm not having it. You, you haven't even read what happened to me recently. And so the conversation ended, got off the phone. The people on the other snooker table, there's two snooker tables in the room. Um, the other people on the other snooker table, they, they stopped playing. They stopped playing, they were listening to my telephone conversation. And they were like, oh, and my practice partner who I play with was telling them what's been going on. And um, they were just like, it's the people who try who suffer. It's the people who, 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 who actually kind of do stuff these days in terms of like, I've got to be a bit careful. I probably work 70 hours a week, 60 to 70 hours a week. I firmly believe that the person who rang me last night knew I was playing snooker, probably tipped off that I was playing snooker and decided to ring me whilst I was playing snooker. 7.30 in the night. And anyway, long story short, I was so angry. I had, I had like an 18, I had a 15 point lead playing snooker and I, and I, I, I couldn't pot a ball. I was so angry. I, I, for like half an hour, I couldn't pot a ball. I lost the second frame. And in the third frame, I was gone. I was gone. I lost 3-0 last night. I lost 3-0. Now, now, my mate, he's done it to me before. He's beat me 3-0 before. He's a good, good snooker player. 
you've got to be on your ball. You've got to be on the ball to play him. And you've got to be, you've got to be, um, you know, you can't just like rock up. I feel like I missed a lot. Well, I can only really say so, so much. Like, um, anyway, I, I ended up losing my snooker master, you know, the, the, my mate who plays, he's improved like phenomenally well. He's long shots, his safety game was good. You know, you've got to be on the ball. You've got to be on the ball. So when the phone rings and you've got someone going, oh, yeah, you know, like, like I haven't even read your case type of thing, like, you know, just ringing you up and, I, and I'm supposed to be in charge, you know, that sort of thing. It's going to do your head in, isn't it? It's really going to do your head in. So um, I lost 3-0 last night. But but my highest break, my highest break is something like 25. It's, the, it's not a lot. Um it really isn't a lot. Um, I'm more of a long pot specialist. I like to get, I like to rattle in a flipping. I missed something. Can you say it again? No. I bloody cannot. Yeah. So that's it. That's life. That's that's how it's going at the moment. Um. Yeah. So I explain me snooker. I played pocket pool. Uh, did you ever see the movie The Hustler? Uh, drinking a Rothos pills. Yeah, I think I did a long time ago. <laughs> My house break is 45 when I was 18. Just going to quickly um, have a quick chat. I am back, I am back, I am back. Just uh, spoke to... <laughs> I had to have a quick chat with the wife. Uh, and rather than you ask, what are you drinking? That's a weird question. Uh, what do you drink and how many fillings have you got? <laughs> What do you drink? How many fillings have you got? No, I haven't. I didn't go to work. I, you know, it's 10 to 9. I haven't been to the bathroom yet. <laughs> I haven't been to the bathroom yet. So, um, uh, 
Oh, it's a, it's a funny thing. Uh, my, it's, it's funny. So, so, um, end of terrace, end of terrace, um, lane behind us. Um, moment, moment, I, 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 I kind of like start talking about a certain kind of conversation, uh, you know, Next thing you know, the whole house is shaking. That's why I left the live stream. Um, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll, I'll talk about because it's, at the end of the day, for me, I can go back and listen to the live feed at, at what something like it was like a hundred minutes. I think I was looking. I went a bit quiet. My ear was like mm. um, hundred, about a hundred minutes in. Um, I'll have a look at my security cameras and um, see what's been going on. Um, the, the beauty is the, the the beauty is is that is that um, with modern technology, being end of terrace, being in a lane, you know, you've got security cameras up there that, that I can I know I can date stamp it. So, hundred minutes was twenty forty one. <laughs> Ah, uh, Richard, it, it's just, it, it's like um, it's a situation of you know you say you work sixty to seventy hours a week, you work really hard. Um, it's unfortunate. Not 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 everybody wants to like. Well, <laughs> Uh, I haven't been to the dentist since COVID. I've always thought that dentist care is a rip off. Should I book an appointment? My teeth are fine. Oh, well, big Kev. Uh, Later to party, sand on a log cabin all evening. Oh, Kieran, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Um, this, this should be really about positivity, you know. This should really be about, like, me enjoying myself on a live feed. Um, I quite enjoyed, I quite enjoyed, it's just up there. I quite enjoyed being up in my, doing the live feeds from my daughter's bedroom. I, for the first time in a long time, I kind of like just sat there and, and I was really kind of like 100% relaxed, if that makes any sense. Can you say hello to the Scunthorpe Knights? Hello to the Scunthorpe Knights. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, I will give in. Uh, do you use your machines nowadays, Simon? Thinking of adding my, to my perfect draft and crush with a point of three, Lewis. Well, you could, you could, you could. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Simon found that wardrobe that leads to Narnia. I wish I did. Random fact that the swimming pool on the Titanic is still full of water. It is, Roy McKenzie. Uh, I will pack him one day. I will pack in one day. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to, like, I'd like to find a wrecker. I'd like to find a detached wrecker. When I mean by detached, I mean like like ring fenced, <laughs> a ring fenced, detached um, place where, where, you know, I will most definitely going forward be just you know, hello. Hello to the neighbours. Um, it won't be like, yeah, I'll help you get your shopping or nothing. It'll just be hello. Now, wherever I move going forward, or if there was a situation where people move from here and I stayed here, whoever moved in around here, it would just be hello. It would just be, and it would be hello forever. And I, and I, I don't really care if people think I'm a bit weird in that um richard's tennis and needs more prey <laughs> two pound super chat from simon wood thank you very much simon wood for the super chat really appreciate all your contributions i'm trying to love your super chat there we go and it's got four likes already simon wood uh, on a serious note uh am i seeing things or is simon saying looking like this Welsh cousin nowadays, so uh, go to Tesla's for free care. Am I really? Well, ho hopefully not. Hopefully not. 
A tall fence makes for a good neighbour. Yeah. Uh, am I streaming tomorrow? Um, yeah, I'll be away tomorrow. I'm looking forward to... I'm looking forward to the break. Uh, I'm looking forward to the break tomorrow. I'm looking forward to... Um, beer festival. Um, away. 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 I, 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 re I, I never realised until this afternoon... I was packing my packing my bag this afternoon, and I and I I suddenly realised like, oh, whew, I bloody need that. <laughs> I bloody need this. Uh, name it, I mean, Harold Bishop. You know, can you imagine that? It would well, be great to have Harold Bishop as a name, wouldn't it? Hello, all sipping on a Revolution Desta and enjoying a good cigar. Well done, DC. We're going into the witching hour, the nine o'clock witching hour on the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. We really are, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I really am, I really am, I really am. <sighs> even if, even if um, there's rocks landing against the side of my house, I'm still enjoying it, I'm still enjoying it. Simon, did you try the little pearl and back of ice? I, I think, hopefully I can find some. Um, I've, I've had... Well, Big Kev, what did I pack? I packed three pairs of underpants, three pairs of socks, three t-shirts, a pair of jeans, a jumper, a bar of soap, and a toothbrush. And that's it. Oh, and I got to take this tripod down, pack that in my bag as well. I'm taking my GoPro and a couple of phone chargers. No pink shot, it's too cold. I had a look, <laughs> I had a look at the weather in York. I had a look in the weather in York for the next few days. It's gonna be maximum of 11 degrees. I'm gonna to have to take my blooming North Face coat. I'm gonna to have to take the North Face coat. Pack for, <laughs> Simon Wood, well, this is it. This is it, beer festival, isn't it, Simon Wood? This is it. Do you need five pairs of bundies? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, what was that man's name who... I, is it, it's called Escape to the Chateau. Escape to the Chateau. What was his name? The older guy with a moustache. He had to pick up something heavy. And, he, and there was like five of them to pick up this heavy object. And he went, hang on, lads. I better p pack a spare pair of underpants. When you're lifting a weight, Dick Strawbridge. <laughs> Dick Strawbridge. He said, hang on, lads. He said, um, we're all going to lift this together. I'm going to pack a spare pair of underpants, he said. Uh, lifting this much weight, he said, I might need to change them. <laughs> when you get to my age, he said, in your 50s, lifting heavy weights. He has the best moustache I've ever seen. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, where exactly is the beer festival tomorrow in New York? I'm in Durham, so I might check it out. Um, it is in the... Uh... Well, yeah. Simon Wood, this is the thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's just a name, isn't it? Um, it's in the, the Brew York uh, Beer Festival. Brew York Beer Festival. Tony Tushu says UK springtime is like opening a new beer. It could be good, it could be just be a mess, and you're just miserable. Well, Tony Tushu's, I think that is absolutely spot on. We've had a to be honest with you, we've had a nice four it was raining Monday, it's like monsoon weather on Monday. Did you have monsoon weather on Monday? It was like it was like literally like end of the world rain. But since then. 
since then it's been okay. It's been okay. We've had we've had some nice weather. Uh, Simon, what is your dream job? Um, gardening, I think, for some really rich old lady, just trimming her roses all day. I think that would be my dream job. When I mean trimming her roses, I actually mean trimming her roses, not trimming her roses as in like a like a uh, a code for something else. Um, like trimming a bush. No, I, I mean like actually trimming roses in a nice old lady's garden. Uh, that would probably be my dream job. You know, out in the country. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew, I knew I was going to get flack. I knew I was going to get flack for that. Um, yeah. Probably dream job. Bit of, bit of gardening. Some old lady, some old man, can't do it anymore. You know, maybe paint the fence with some bitumen, garden, mow the lawn. Yeah, that would be that would be my dream job. Just just like one more for the road. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So I've been I've been um um how can I put it? Puppy's nose through the fence for the last hour. I mean, like, a little bit. So, um, yeah, I could probably fit another one in. Uh, then I'd probably really have to finish the live feed and use the toilet. <laughs> mm. Matthew, yes. Where is Al Humphreys? Where is Al Humphreys? Matthew, I was wondering the same thing. Where is Al? Isn't it funny? Uh, Simon, the Welsh Forest Gump. I, well, Ryan McGuire, I probably am. Have you tried Orbit Pale Ale? I haven't. Um, <sighs> oh, Simon Wood. Thank you much. Thank you so very much for the five pound super chat, Simon Wood. <laughs> oh, I liked it first time. Sorry, I loved it first time and I've liked it. I think, hang on. Yes, three likes. Can everybody like Simon Wood's five pound super chat? My round. Uh, Simon, is the outside Bar still in progress, or has it been knocked on the head? Uh, Neil, uh, so in all honesty, um, am I allowed to talk about this? I suppose so. Um, just had some what, what sounded like boulders hit the side of my house about 15 minutes ago. Um, it's all very hostile. It's all very hostile. It's like I'm I'm hanging on. Hanging on. Is it a dream? <sighs> Probably not now. Probably not now. It's like a um it's the opposite of a dream to be honest. It's like it, well, no, 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 I wouldn't no, it's not it's it's not a nightmare. It's not a nightmare. Um, I can deal with it. I just want the people who are supposed to be helping you. I just want them to do their jobs. I just want them to do their jobs. Um, at the moment they're not. At the moment they're not. And 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 it's like, yes, Denbo. Yes, yes, yes. Um. You know, I, I must be the only YouTuber in history live streaming with with boulders hitting the side of my house. I've got to be. I've got to be. I can't be the only one. Uh, sorry, I have to be the only one. Have to be. Surely I'm the only one. Um, but I've dealt with this so long now. It used to be, it used to come as a real shock. It was like, you know, like, wow, wow, like, like. 
Like, you have to, so I'm in a position now where I, like, like I've stepped away, I've stepped back, and I've looked at the bigger picture. I, I've looked at the, the fact that, you know, let's generalize it. Let, let's, let's generalize it in the, in the, like, there are, in a general manner now, there are people in the UK with mental health issues. And, you know, if, if you, if you were to kind of like narrow that down, if you were to, if you were to take yourself, not that I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a psychologist. I, I'm not saying I'm a psychologist, um, but I'm able I've been in this situation for so long now that I that I'm able to step out of like it's not personal anymore to me. It's not personal. It's not like it's happening to me anymore. I've stepped away, I've stepped out of the bubble, and I can see the bigger picture. I can see that that I can see I can see it for what it is. And um and I, and I and I can see that it's it, you know it really isn't my fault. It's more, it's more, like. They probably need to look at themselves. Well, this is the problem though. When when you when you hit that point in your life when. You have these really kind of like. Bad moments. You're you you don't have the capacity anymore. You don't have the capacity anymore to to see that it's you, to, to see that you've got a problem. And, 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 and this is what I'm kind of living with. So, yeah, it's not personal. It's not personal anymore. Kind of is, because it's hitting the side of your house. But, uh, I'm only about nine bird bars in. Wishing you well, my guy. Peace and love. Hey, Grand, Grand Sigma. Awesome, awesome. Uh, could it be someone from your, um, the, what, no, well, uh, and, and Ian, it's not from my kid's school, no. Um, you could, you should move away. Uh, Ian J, that's the, that's the, that's the, I see that. I get asked that all the time. I get asked that all the time. Not just by my family, not just by my friends, but even, even the people that you're supposed to speak to when you're having boulders thrown at the side of your house. Even even the people that you're speaking to are saying, well, let's move away. And for me, for me, it's not the answer. It's not the answer. And, and, and for those people who are supposed to be doing a really good job you know, we all pay their taxes. Uh, sorry, we pay their taxes for the, for them to protect you. Um, for them, for those people to, to say move away. You know, make it make make a better life for yourself. It makes me it makes me think. Wow, like, can you not just do your job and help me out, like? Demo, yeah, exactly that, exactly that. Um, I'm just in an I'm in an unfortunate situation where I live underground. I live in the ground. I literally live in the ground. Uh God bless you, Simon. If they have mental health issues, then your understanding is amazing. Um Oh Simon Wood. I mean, of course. There's times of frustration. There's times of 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 of, of big frustration, Simon Wood. Um, so, uh, I'll give you an example. Last year, um, my grandfather passed away. Very close to him. Went to his funeral all day. Had a few jars. Come back, and the damage was unbelievable. The damage was unbelievable and I, I lost it. I did. I was about 15 pints in and I, and I, and I properly 
shirt off job. Shirt off, bare feet, still in my funeral trousers, black pair of trousers, barefooted, took my shirt, black tie off, white shirt. I was like an animal, like an animal out there. And, and I, <laughs> and, and, so, so the, the, um, the big wagon turned up. Because I was on the phone, I was like, ah, yeah, rah, rah. big wagon turned up, and I was like, oh great, great, you 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 you've shown up and and, and you you're gonna help me, and they were like, no, we're here for you, <laughs> no, we're here for you, um, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I I I I'm I'm only human, I'm only human, I I, I snapped, I properly snapped that day, very very rare. Very, very rare for me, but I lost somebody very close to me. Um, do you get to keep the oh, the, the bill? <laughs> well, uh, well, yeah. This is just. Do you know what? Do you know what? Right, we got two hundred and twelve people in. I am gonna have one more. I am gonna have one more, but for, unbelievably for me, unbelievably, it's quarter past nine. What's going on? I need to go and have a beer. Uh, no, no, sorry. I think someone just went in the bathroom. I need to go and have a wee, and then I'll come back and have a beer. Uh, how old are you when that happened on the funeral day? How old was I? Well, that's an interesting question. It was a year ago. It was probably a year ago now. Yeah, it was a year ago. That happened to me. Um, I don't apologise for that, though. I'm not. I'm not going to apologise for that. Um, that was just one of those situations where okay um 25 then <laughs> um should i have done it should i have reacted nobody wants to react do they what do they end up doing oh like they don't do anything you know the thing the thing is with this whole situation is you know do you know if um i ended up like say say Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, you know, a rock hits me in the head or something like that. There would be a, probably a big investigation. And all they got to do and all they, there'll be a, a sorry. This is where we are in the world today. We're in a world where an apology from higher above is enough. Uh, we've we've said sorry. Um, we mis mistreated it. We mismanaged it, but we're sorry. It happens. If you read the news, it happens all of the time. It happens all of the time. Um, the authorities at the time will apologise. Um, they didn't do enough. Could have done more. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, oh yeah, Connor, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So when I was playing snooker yesterday, the, the start of the phone call is really interesting. I can't go into detail, but the start of the phone call is really interesting. It's the reason why I stopped potting balls, um, was just the manner in which I was spoken to, even though I'm providing evidence. You know, camera footage, even though I'm providing all of this stuff, like the manner in which, like, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, even like, I may have time to ring you back tomorrow. I may. I may. If I don't, then <laughs> he, he didn't even say when he was going to ring me back. You know, one of those situations. I need to go to the toilet though. 
Ah, honestly, it's fine. Um, as, as I say, I, I can see the, like the, and it's not just me. It's not just me. There's a there, there's a big community of people in the area um, who do sympathise, and it's almost like rather you than me. Rather you than me. Um, but pff, whatever, innit? They can see it. People can see it. People are not stupid, are they? I'm going to get a drink and I'm going to have a wee. Uh, this is the stage of the night where the sick becomes more attractive than a flight of stairs. Well, well, Simon Wood. I'm going to go and have a wee and I'll get one more. The toilet was indeed occupied. So I will get a beer. Uh, what's the role of alpha and beta enzymes and the brewing process and how that activity affects the fermentation of wort leans and variations in the final beer's body and mouthfeel? Timothy, at this stage of the night, 20 past nine, four or five beers in, your guess is as good as mine. So, um, so like, no, 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 no. I can't, this is a night, this is a night of enjoyment, isn't it? This is a night of enjoyment. Stone the crows, everybody. Oh, I am really right. The bathroom's empty. I have to go. <laughs> I can barely talk. I have to go to the bathroom. We got two hundred and twenty-five people in the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Then we do three hundred likes. Three hundred likes of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Hit the like button down below.
214 of you. Do you know what? I can only thank you enough for staying on the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Thank you so very much for um, carrying on. Well, I'm sorted now. I'm sorted. Um, toilet break. Beer. Shall we go? Shall we do the last half hour of this week's Stone Crow Virtual Pub? Uh, number two, <laughs> Parramatta. It, it was like, literally, I was like filling up with beer. Uh, Simon, I was thinking, instead of moving your record player when the sun comes out, could you not just throw a thick blanket over it? Simon Dawson, uh, S Jacob Dawson, yeah, I could do. Old Jamaica, <laughs> oh, good stuff, isn't it? Uh, Simon, your T-shirt is inside out, mate. It's just an old T-shirt, uh, Roy. I, I wear my T-shirts until they fall off me. Uh, thanks very much, Roy. Five, uh, two, two euro super chat. Ryan Ford. Let's go for the last half an hour. Uh, which an hour, let's go, can't I, yeah, let's which an hour, come on, let's go, which an hour, let's go, let's go, you know, um, was it Bob Marley who sung Rise Up, was it a Bob Marley song, Rise Up, Rise, you know, ri Rise Up, you know, ri Rise, you know, I'm in a good mood, I am in a good mood, I really am. Uh, no, thank you, man, you're the best greetings from Sweden, thank you very much, Tony. Uh, thank you for keeping the Stone Crow going. It's the highlight of my week. Matty 98, honestly. Um, to hear that gives me goosebumps. It really does because um, I generally go, ah, it's quarter to seven. I'm going to do the live feed. And I just start it. There's no script. There's never a script. I think about, like, what have I done during the week? Might talk to you a little bit about that. But it's just a generalisation. It's just like a general, like... Eh, no woman... No. Oh, I love, love Bob Marley. I wait all week for the stream, good stuff. I, I, honestly, it's... um, It's an amazing thing. It really is an amazing thing that you guys like it so much. Um, uh, it's me, in effect, let's be honest, it's me standing here with a beer, drinking a beer, telling you a couple of stories, reading comments. Uh, it's amazing. It really is amazing. I, I, and, like, you couldn't pitch this concept, could you? You couldn't pitch it to, like, TV studios. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to stand in front of a camera... Yeah, the guys are going to talk to, you know, send messages over and I'm going to stand drinking a beer, telling a couple of stories, reading out their comments. They would go, nah, that's not going to work, wouldn't it? What, what kind of, you know, what kind of studio would go, yeah, that's a great idea. Yet, yet, here we are. Yet, here we are. It, it works. It does work. And it, it, it gives me goosebumps. It really does. Um, I love it. I love doing the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Um, I do tire. I do tire, I get to the summer and I'm like, I'm going to have the summer off. I'm going to come back in the autumn. Um, it is what it is, isn't it? Simon Wood! Simon Wood with a £5 super chat. But how will we see an exploding beer bottle in this bar? Well, yes. Oh, God. Do you know, I had one. Remember I did that collaboration? First of all, thank you so very much, Simon Wood, for the £5 super chat before I get into my next story. But um, I did a collaboration with a brewery called Calvers Brewery. And it was a porter. Well, 
Well, I'll tell you what happened. It exploded. And the beer hit the top of the glass and it ran all down the walls. And literally this beer all around, like it was outside paint I used. Outside paint I used and what's it called? What's, what's the outside paint called? Oh God. Sandex. Is it Sandex? Big 20 litre tub or 10 litre tub of Sandex. Literally painted all the walls. Stucco. It's, it's sand. I think it's called sand, Sandex or something. Anyway. Covered the bloody walls. That's it. Yes, yeah, Sandex. Yes, yes, yes. Is a pound the same as a dollar? Suo? Uh, not really. Kind of probably was during the COVID times. Johnson's pay trophy. Uh, on a positive note, what is the absolute worst beer you've ever had? <laughs> on a positive. Um, Bellsbeth. Bellsbeth Extra Strong. Terrible stuff. Terrible. We're jamming. Salmon and Friends. And I hope you like... I can't sing too much because of the copyright stuff. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. McEwen's champion. Uh, exterior, interior, interesting. Well, it used to be the outside. I used exterior paint because it used to be the outside. Uh, I'm back. Got stuck on the phone. Ah, did you? Worldwide ghost. Have I brewed any beer yet? Um, lots of beer. Lots of beer. Analog shop. And this is, it says, let's celebrate their first super chat on the live stream. Analog shop. US dollar. Four dollar ninety nine. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the four ninety nine. US dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Hey ho, dancing Simon. Yeah. Uh, the first night we met, you pointed me to the exploding beer in the old kitchen. Oh. Oh my goodness. That, that beer. Literally. I was cleaning for weeks. I was cleaning for weeks. Ian J, I bought. Back about 200 beers from Belgium in my car, got home, unloaded the car early next morning and found four bottles of exposure in the back of the car. Made it, oh, E&J, it does. It makes a right mess. And you're like, ooh. Many, many a time, I've had a parcel delivered at the door. And they're like, sorry, mate, the box is a bit squishy. And you, you immediately think the worst. You're like, oh, man, this is going to be a right mess. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's a right... When, when bottles go bang in a box, in a cardboard box, beer gets everywhere. But nine times out of ten, it's just the one. It's just the one or two bottles out of maybe five or six. But those one or two beers, blimey neck, they do. They make a right mess. They cover everything. They cover all the labels. Beer goes where beer shouldn't go. It's just, it's, it's yeah, it's madness. Now work out for the heating's on. Looks like my team is at the cup, Liverpool. Time to pour another banana. Wow, ah, it's always like that with a football, isn't it? Matthew says, Simon. What do you think the future of beer is? Right. I will tell you the future of beer right now. Because it seems a bit gloomy at the moment. But it's not. All the youngsters coming through at the moment. They're not drinking beer. They're gaming. Gaming, gaming, gaming. But. I remember I hit... 25, 
25 years old and I was literally like, I can't do this gaming stuff anymore. I literally cannot do it. It doesn't really interest me. I'm bored. And you 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 literally go so so the the forecast of all of the youngsters not drinking it's almost like a a catapult all these youngsters gaming they're all in the same catapult and they're all slowly being pulled back in the catapult and then all of a sudden you get a breaking point and all these youngsters they're bored of gaming and then the catapult goes and they're all going to start to, because what else do you do? You find a girlfriend, you find a boyfriend, you find a whatever you want to find, a chair. Um, you fall in love. You have kids, generally. If you don't, well... You're still going to row. You're still going to row with that person. Aren't you? And what you do, you've had a hard day, wonderful, kind of like took the kids out all day, stressful day, loved it, but stressful. We're all in that boat. First thing you, you're going to want to do, sit down, put some nice music on, bit of telly, have a drink. Have a little drink. And I think that's what will happen with these with the, these this, this this forecast of young gamers not drinking. I just think it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before they go. Boom. Time to have a beer or wine or whatever they want to do. Gaming is just watching telly, but better <laughs> that matter. How will that affect the beer industry? You laugh, but it will be a reality, folks. So, Big Kev, my wife read an article last night to me about AI. And she said 95% in 2025. That's next year. That's next year. 2025. 95% of online content, all online content, is going to be written by AI. Well, I'll have something to say about that. Hopefully, hopefully. Because I'll carry on reviewing my beer. And I'll carry on doing live streams. Because AI cannot taste beer. It will never... That is, <laughs> this is the, AI cannot taste beer. It cannot, it's impossible. It might pick up that I say fleshy blood orange and spicy and peppery and, 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 and grapefruit. And it might mimic me in some way, but it won't actually be able to physically taste the beer, will it? And this is the point. I think I, I can survive. I think I can survive this AI mayhem that's about to happen. Um, Jacob Dawson, five pound super chat, made it back, oh, pardon me. Made it back from Girona Craft Beer Bar for which an hour. Had some Paul on it and Schneider Weiss now chilling in Airbnb. Cheers everyone. Jacob Dawson, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Have a lovely, lovely night. I'm nearly 40 now. I'm still gaming, but we're all growing up gaming PC stuff. Not in the consoles anymore, as consoles can't be upgraded as a PC can. Scottish Parliament is interested in a new build to raise the minimum. Well, I, you know what? Connor, this was always going to happen, wasn't it, Connor? Um, thank goodness I'm not living in Scotland. AI can taste beer when connected to a Gas spectrometer, it won't detect new <laughs> I can't even read that last bit, Simon Wood. It's the witching hour. I'm going to try and read it. Detect now, she's. I've got no idea. <laughs> Alf me, Prish Tang. I, I can't even. Sorry. Do you know what? I'm going to say Al. I'm going to call you Al. 
Thanks very much for the £10 super chat, Al. It's had eight likes, including me, right on. AI ain't tasting beer. I'll drink to that. Thank you very much, Al. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the £10 super chat. Have you been back to Tenby? Finally tried some of Harbury Ales. They were really good. Ryan Fraser. I've not been to Tenby in nearly two years. I have not been back to I have not been to Tenby since I made that blooming video. And I normally go every year. Last year was a pretty stressful year, you know. Yeah, I can go sub a pint of Foster's <laughs> flat beer brewed. I'm not washing a robot. So can you imagine that analog shop? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? But it won't be, it'd be like, <laughs> it won't even be that though, analog shop, which is the scary thing. If you think about it, towards the end of this year, I'm going to have 10,000 videos on YouTube. 10,000. It'll take one of those AI things 10 minutes to cipher cipher through my 10,000 videos and maybe even chop it'll be bits of me like <laughs> you know some fake channel doing AI me and it'll be bits of me chopped up like like edited and it'll feel real but it'll be it, it won't be a real beer review it'll be like like lots of different edits that that's what'll happen you know like you get when you go on Instagram, you have a look at your Instagram messages. And the first a million messages, this is what I get anyway, are like, so-and-so's in your local area, would you like to pay her five pounds? You know, that sort of thing. Um, no, thank you. Block, deleted. It'll just be the next thing. It'll be like, like, like fake video of you drinking a beer on a fake YouTube channel. That, that's, that's what I, I think is going to happen. Uh, this is not Sky and Simon. Real AI is not what the press portray. Well, prob probably Simon would. Probably. I'm going to submit your channels to the Academy Awards. Just don't talk. Oh, well, can you imagine that, Matthew? I'd be on the stage with a pint of beer. Don't you dare! <laughs> Yeah, kind of imagine. Kind of said, imagine sending a, a super chat to a robot. Uh, does the dark web? It's all over the show. Well, I don't know, Neil Mercer. I don't know. AI Simon, lemony peppery, stinging nettle carbonation, push the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases yeah more of the flavour. I am the new leader. <laughs> Jacob Dawson. Jacob Dawson. Yeah. Drunk AI would be a thing. I mean, AI might need to relax after a hard day of AIing. Yeah. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to look at you. Frankly, what's that all about? I'll go to someone else. Well, Paramatta, Yeah. Um. Anyway, remember Max Headroom. Imagine that reviewing beer. Beer, GP. It, it is. Um. I I've spoken to many head brewers. I've spoken to many head brewers and, and many head brewers will say that it's one thing <clears throat> that a robot will never be able to do, never, and that is to taste beer. Isn't that a mad thing? I, I, I personally think that maybe in 200 years' time, maybe they could, maybe they will, but until... Yeah. Maybe this channel, maybe if, if YouTube is still going in 200 years time, I'd like to think this channel is still going in 200 years time. I'd like to think that there's a very distant family member, my great, great grandson or something reviewing or great, great granddaughter. Let's be, you know, inclusive, reviewing beer for me.
Oh God, I get asked this all the time. I don't understand what Discord is. I really don't understand what Discord is. But, 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 um, hang on, Bloomin', Bloomin' Heck. <laughs> what his name is? Use technology as blue cheese goes well. With, well, you know, you're going to get that in you. You're going to get these BBC people, these, these, like, you're going to get that. Who knows, maybe Simon's a robot right now. Well, who knows, Big Kev. His favourite beer is Bud Light. 12 more likes for the, uh, Steve Jeffrey. Steve Jeffrey. AI will... Uh, this is Hasty7868. AI will kill YouTube. The beauty of this platform is anyone can upload. Gives it an air of freedom and honesty. Same thing cannot be said about AI. Well, so could we do 12 more likes? 12 more likes at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub for 300 likes. 300 likes at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Come on, everybody, let's do it. We got, it's a quarter to 10. A quarter to 10. I've still got a bit of beer to go. I've enjoyed tonight. I really have. Nine more likes. There's a like button down here. A like button down here. Like, dislike, down here. If you hit that like button six more times, six more times, we get to 300 likes. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Two, four more likes. Four more likes at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Four more likes. One more. One more like. <laughs> Ding -ding. We it used to be good, didn't it, years ago, uh, Simon Wood. We got 301 likes. 301 likes of the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Thank you so very much. We've done it. Over 300 likes. Amazing. Connor says, tonight has been one of the best Stone Crow Virtual Pub nights. Do you know what? I agree. I am sorry for my moments at nine o'clock. I am sorry about that. I do apologise to you. But... I am, I will, I will say I'm only human. I'm only human. And when you're yeah, actually, you know, you have a lot of senses in, in your body, don't you? You can see, you can hear, you can feel, you can feel vibration. Vibration's the biggest thing, you know? When you go... <laughs> <laughs> Simon Wood. <laughs> um, my apologies for, 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 for like 47 minutes ago, nine o'clock. Um, I am only human though. I'm on my own here. I stand here on my own and, and you know, and maybe, did I have a wobble? Did I have a wobble or did I take it quite well? Did I have a wobble or did I take it quite well? I, I thought, you know, I thought I took it quite well. Um, it is what it is. Life is life. <sighs> took it like a champ. Well, it's... Unfortunately, the, 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 this person... Um, there's lots of stories that, that go about in the in the wild um the you know there the used to be retaliation another retaliation used to be and i used to hear it i used to hear it. i i used to report it to be honest with you um i can't go into detail but um you know when I've got to be very careful here, very, very careful. Um, I sounded like Donald Trump then, didn't I? <laughs> I sounded like old Don. Um, I've got to be very careful. But I'm going to spit it out. <laughs> um, so retaliation as in violence. Um, some people are only... They've only ever lived their lives with 
that kind of retaliation in terms of like violence and and i've heard it i've lived here for 20 25 years um i've i've heard the violence i've heard the you know it's quite sick actually sick sick like and people lead hard lives don't they people 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 not everybody not everybody has it Cushy, as Del Boy once said in life, people have, and um, well, that's, a, that's the thing you try to, but this is what this is all about. This is what it's all about. This is all about how can I get this person to retaliate in the way that I want them to retaliate. And I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of person. Um, does, it does it ever run through my mind? I suppose you have the odd little flicker, the odd little moment, but, but even 20 points in, tanked up, when my grandfather died, even then, I think, you know, it was probably more more vocal than, than than like like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that, you know. Um I'm not gonna I, I will never ever retaliate in that manner. I will never ever retaliate in that manner. And and, and but the, the the thing is is this person has only ever dealt with like trying to cause a reaction and then when that reaction comes it's it's a it's a blooming good you know i'm not going to do that it's not in my nature it's not in my nature to do that <laughs> Lord, only, trump dope, trump is dope only worry about the things you can control. Well, Mac Winter, that's it. Tanked up, same of the day, that, mate. Just ignore the bull and enjoy life. Yep. I own a, um, a KT. Jan Wan is amazing. Just to let you all know. Well, what is that, then? Uh, that sounds interesting. Uh, when you had a few beers, you think you're Liam Neeson... <laughs> <laughs> Robo, yeah. Um, we got over three hundred. Oh, pardon me, three hundred likes. Well then, Christine is. <gasps> oh. I got the ick up. Sorry. Right, Simon Wood. Someone told me I am the best beer reviewer. I created beer. People love me for my beer. I am a beer lot. <laughs> Simon Wood. Yeah. Yay. Yep, Tony, that, that, of course, that's true. It's only natural to get upset about bad, especially, especially when you're live, especially when, like, you're in the groove and you're live and you're talking and, and boom, bang, boom, boof, you know, it's like, it's not normal, is it? It's not, it's not a normal thing to go through. Uh, it's five to ten. Uh, now is the time, if you've got, uh, anything to you want to say to me if you've got any final messages any final comments yada yada yeah now's the time to do it because i am gonna i am gonna get up and i'm gonna go to <laughs> five minutes <laughs> Simon Wood, yeah five minutes um, i am going to york in the morning i've got an early train um so i gotta go to bed uh, Matthew, thank you very much. Um, I, I am going to York in the morning. I've got to go to bed. York. Oh, Rob. Um, Rob, you're watching. And I'm hoping... Do you mind if I, like, have a massive cry on your shoulder? <laughs> when I get... When we have a drink and, like... And, 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 uh, 
I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything, Rob. I'll, I will sit and we'll talk in a bar, and I'll and I'll <laughs> we'll t and I'll tell you everything, and we'll have a drink and we'll, we'll just have some fun, and I'll let my hair down, or up, or up, and uh, yeah. I'll tell you everything, mate, on Saturday, and I'll, I'll let you know exactly what's been going on. Um, but for now, yes, I'll see you Saturday. Have a lovely time in York. Uh, one of my ex-wives was from there, was she? Excellent. Uh, Lee, Lee C, thanks. I uh, remember to drink water. As I will. I'll drink some water. I'll, I'll take a glass of scotch. Feel free. Uh, we'll have a great time. No, we will. We will. I, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Um, two thirty tomorrow. I'll have a rucksack on my back, with my underpants and my socks and my t-shirts and a spare pair of jeans and a jumper, my tripod and a spare GoPro. I'm gonna wander around York. I'm gonna go in. So so um while I'm here, Rob, um I'm gonna probably do the like the outskirty pubs if that makes sense i'll leave all the good stuff i'll leave all the good stuff for me and you on the saturday but i'll do all the like like say there's a hungry horse or you know that sort of thing on the outskirts of uh, on the way in I'll, I'll do all the what's the word i'll do all the normal normal people pubs and then all the great stuff we'll we'll do together on the Saturday. Right, I am going. Hit the historic, but we will, we will. Um, so Rob's my guide. He's a great. He got a YouTube check. Please check out his YouTube channel, Hop Scene. He's one of the most. He's he's much more knowledgeable than I am. Much more knowledgeable than I am. He really is. Um, he's a great guy. Um, we'll have some food. We'll have some beer. Um, I'll cry on his shoulder. Yeah. Boom. See you all later. Cheers.